Hi, my name is Maria Davis. I'm from Ventura and I did novice painting, I have first pigs. Um, we had to do a gourd for our, pic our annual picnic and it was an upside down gourd. So I had to put a piece of wood at the bottom and then I just like Southwest and Indian. So I just kind of put some Indian pictures, a little of course stone on the top. And um, these are rattles that we made at a class. So I just, um, went home and made more to um, add, and I thought it was a perfect base to add to it. So it's fun, been doing it for a couple years.
Hello, my name is Debbie Zimmerman with the Ventura Patch. This gourd is entered in Intermediate Anything Goes. It's actually a commission gourd and the gal who requested it wanted it similar to a butterfly one that I had done before. Who can do two of the same? So this particular one is a whole bunch of different dragonflies that are flying over ponds. I have three ponds on the gourd itself. The, the dragonflies, the, the paper's kind of interesting. I want to say that's like craft paper, but the big wow on this is all the blue pond, which is actus, actually cactus fiber.
Erickson and this is my acanthus carved purse. It was entered in the Southern California Gourd Art Competition in Masters Carving and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about it. I've wanted to do a purse for a long time and I've had this really thick canteen gourd for quite some time so I had set it aside I've been carving for, I don't know, five or six years now. I really love it. And acanthus leaves are, I've seen more often carved into wood, and I was really intrigued by the depth of some of the carvings that I'd seen, so I wanted to do it on a purse. Here's the front, and then it's carved all the way around the back. It's colored with um, alcohol inks and dye inks, a little faux leather strap, and a little wooden knob and closure with elastic. And inside, you can see how thick the gourd is. For the most part, I like to decoupage paper inside of all the gourds that I do. I think it gives it a nice um, finished look. One little hinge, it holds, it's big enough to hold my phone and key and a small wallet. It closes like this. It took, I started this about a year, year and a half ago and then put it away for a while and then got inspired again to finish it. Um, it was a lot of work, uh, but a lot of fun. I really like and enjoy carving. My name is Pam Watson and I've been gourding for maybe over 18, 19 years now. And I competed in our 2021 gourd competition, Southern California. And this is the piece that I put in under Anything Goes. And what this is, is I, what I was trying to do with Anything Goes is push that envelope of what we do with gourding. I wanted to take a media that we don't normally associate with it and put them together. And so this is a 1950s, 1960s rusted old milk can from a dairy farm. And the idea is what would happen if we put that with the ocean? Well, you know the ocean takes over everything. So this is, I use fiber clay for the floral part of it, but up here is a, is a gourd to make idea of a bird. And then there's a little bug and I made that with a warty gourd. <clears throat> and here is the top of a gourd where I did filigree. And then of course, this is a gourd turtle. You can see that's carved. And then this is again a warty gourd bug. And then this is also the tighter warty gourd. It looks just like uh, the bottom ocean, the barnacle that you see on the ocean. Then I use something called modeling foam that's used in the Comic-Con sort of uh, when people are depicting like knights or something. And so what I did, if you can see, I had to last minute put an octopus under that turtle. So I used that type of media, this uh, modeling foam. So I'm trying to use other materials that we don't usually use in, in gourding. Now the back has, of course, filigree down here, gourd flowers, a gourd skeleton of a fish, again, the warty gourd idea right here, and I guess there's, a, there's two bugs, another gourd, another gourd piece, and this is another piece. So you can see how this, and the way big use of it down here, you really get to see how I use the gourd piece there. So this was my whole intention, was to say, okay, we don't always have to use 
all gourd. We can meld them with other things and get a more interesting product. Thank you.